Hello everyone, I'm John, this is Sean. All right. And this is Everyday Food Reviews. And today we've got, well, it's, it's not new anymore, but it was new, LucasAid Alert OG Flavor. Yeah, do you want to hold the can for this one? I'll yeah, last one. go on then. So, we've looked at two LucasAid Alert flavors already. We've looked at the tropical one and the cherry one. <laughs> Which were pretty good. Yeah. We, yeah. I think we favored the tropical one. I favored the cherry one. Okay, I think I favoured the tropical one, strangely, <laughs> for you know, which was a nice surprise. But, uh, but then LucasAid yeah. went and released an original flavour. After the two fruit flavours they released, like normally yeah. an original flavour would be in the sort of opening lineup. Now, it? I know there's fans of LucasAid original out there, but it's not, it's probably not everyone's go-to flavour. Probably not. Now, if I was faced with, you know, a multitude of flavours from LucasAid, I would probably choose the orange. We're talking oh, about this on the, the Discord thing, today. Yeah? Yeah. yeah uh, Billy was saying, I'm going to send a bunch of different LucasAids from years gone by, and you tell me which ones you've had before. And he sent the melon one, the British special edition mixed berry one, and the graffiti one, which had like a really cool graffiti bottle. I think the only one of those I'd had was the melon one, which was incredible. Taste of the melon. The what? The melon one. It was in, in a green bottle. Right. I might have had that. Yeah. Mmm. And I said, I'm not massive into Lucas Aid. I think no, I've, I'm not. I wasn't really. So I thought you you were more into it than me. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Because you'd occasionally pick up a bottle, wouldn't you? Yeah. <clears throat> Main... Yeah, no, what? I would, yeah, no. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, no, a bottle of, like, pink lemonade zero. What? What are you laughing at? There's a, there's a bit of a reason. It's like, it's a, it's a similar reason why you pick up a Relentless, uh, not Relentless, an Oasis. It's because, obviously, as a previous job, uh, as, as driving for a living, Lucas A bottles are really good. Right, okay. <laughs> They've got a wide neck, haven't they? They've got they? a very wide yeah. neck. Yeah, okay. Sure. Um, not, I mean, I could explain a bit more, but... I think that'll probably do. <laughs> there's a wider opening at the top. Yeah. And it's just a lot easier to make secondary uses out of them. Sure. For some people out there, that'll just go straight over your head, and that is fine. Other people out there, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. Should we get into this then? <laughs> It's my fault, I asked. I pushed it. <laughs> See, I never knew that's what, like, I knew when you were driving you'd pick up LucasAid now and then. I yeah, think. it's just because, because I have, Yeah, I have, you know, and it's a lot more difficult in other kind of bottles. <laughs> orange, orange in colour, very vivid orange. Hmm. It's the stuff Iron Brew looks like. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Iron Brew is orange. Yeah, no, I know, it's just the way you phrased it was really strange, but it's not. I was going to say this is the stuff that Iron Brew is made out of, but then it came out as this is the stuff that Iron Brew looks like. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I'm not really looking forward to this. I don't know how this is going to taste. Uh, I've had it before. I think it's going to taste exactly how I think it's going to be. Probably. This is a can. This is the last can from my second case of this. Okay. So because it, it is only half sugar, even though it's a Lucasade drink, it's three point eight grams per hundred mil. Yeah. Which is really good. Mm. It does just taste like LucasAid, maybe slightly more bitter, slightly cleaner, slightly less sticky. Mm. So just like LucasAid, but better in every way. Yeah, it tastes better than LucasAid original. Yeah. It's just, for me, it's a little uninspiring. Yeah. You know, LucasAid original. I, I, I've, I think I've probably bought less than five times in my whole life. But then you say that, but there are other cherry drinks out there. 
There are other tropical drinks out there. What other energy drinks taste like Luke Seed Original? True. Like, it is one of the, you know, OG flavours that's still has its own, well, an OG flavour that's not been copied. Yeah. So, yeah, there is that. I mean, if you are a fan of Lucas Aid uh, original and you, you do want a, a hit of caffeine, more so than what's in an orig- a normal bottle, I think you're, you're probably going to love this. Like you say, yeah. it's, it's better in every single way. The only... Uh, my- Can't make any secondary uses of the can, though. No. I mean, my main concern with it is the same as the, the other two flavours we looked at. It's a pound thirty nine price mark. Yeah. And so that's the same sort of price mark. Well, it's 4p more than a Monster, Monster Ultra Fiesta. Yeah. Or Monster Ultra. <clears throat> but to get these in the cash and carry, it's about £6.50 for a case. So... Full 24 or 12? 12. 12. 12. Whereas the Monster is closer to a tenner, even the sugar-free ones, like yeah. 10, 11 quid. So... It is cheap. If, if you're running a shop and you look at that, it's like, oh yeah, the markup's great, but... I think they should have the markup at a similar percent, or, or even have this at one pound nine, one pound nineteen. It'd still be a better percentage than Monster, but because one thirty nine is too close to Monster, yeah. Um, and they're they're doing it to appeal to the shopkeepers rather than to appeal to the consumers, yeah. Which is just a bit sad. It's it's just like you know you can get this for six fifty and double your money on it, whereas Monster. Like you're only going to be making like forty percent max. Probably not even that, but yeah, it's 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 just one of those things. I uh, I would like to see that if if they had it without the price mark, so that shops could just sell it for one pound nine. Um, I mean, they can they can do that anyway. It's just you know it still says one thirty nine all over it, so that's just going to confuse people. If they had it at the same price but without the price mark, that would be great. Yeah. So normally the price mark is there so that people don't sell it for more. Like a price mark product would be a bit cheaper than the non-price marked one. So that people can't like overcharge, but no one would pay more than 139 for yeah. this. I wouldn't pay 139 for this. I, I've been drinking it because I've been getting it for six, seven pounds for a case, and I think it's good for that. But, yeah. You know, if I was in a shop and it's 139, I would pick up like pretty much any other monster. Yeah, no, I completely agree. <clears throat> and I would. Yeah, well, that's literally my only concern with it. I think that the flavour's spot on. Um, the sugar, um, w- a sugar-free one might be nice, but then a sugar-free Lucasade, like I've always thought with the Lucasade Zeros, what's the point of a sugar-free Lucasade? Um, but yeah, that, that's the thing that lets it down, is the, the price of it um, for a single can in the shop. Yeah. Mm. So, <laughs> so buy the cherry or tropical one, or get a monster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the ch- cherry one's still strong. I think still good. Definitely. But yeah, the, they've got the same price mark still. Mm. Well, I think on that note, it's time to end there. Yep. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cheers.